Hi, so this is just a quick beginner tutorial for a couple of people that have contacted me and found my YouTube channel recently and have been watching some of my older videos and they've commented that certain shapes were on the screen that had dash lines and they wanted to know how to either cut them or draw them. So I'm just going to do a few little short videos just for beginners to recap. I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas Workspace, which is the Brother Online free software program, which is cloud based. And all as you need to use this is a browser. So it can be used with Windows or a Mac in any browser that you use on your computer. Some browsers work better than others. Some browsers can be a little bit buggy with this program. I'm not going to go into that at this stage. I'm just doing some little short, quick tip videos. So to address the question that I had with regards to a shape and a dash line, I'm just going to start off with a basic square, so I'm choosing a square from the basic shapes. And the first thing I'm going to do with this square selected is come to the properties box here. And I'm going to make sure it's selected as a cut line and it's a solid dash pattern here. So that will just cut a square in card or paper. Now, if you want to add dash lines to this and you want them to either cut or draw, what you would need to do is with this selected, go to the edit box, come to this circle icon here, which is the offset icon. I'm going to take the spacing down to about 0.08. I'm going to select inward and I'm going to say OK. Now you can set it as a draw line here if you want, but I want to show you how you can set it as a cut or a dash line. So at this stage, I'm only selecting inward. I'm going to leave it as it is here as the original line, but on the corner type, type I'm going to make it bevel because it's a square and I don't want rounded corners. So I'm going to say OK. So that has now, if I zoom in on here, put me another square in the middle that is 0 0.08 from the distance of the outside one. Now this inside one, I'm just going to change the colour in the hope that you can see it better to distinguish it. So this is my original square in black. This in red here is the 0 0.08 inward offset I've just created. Now when I select it, you'll see the bounding boxes around the red. If I go back to the properties box, it will automatically default to being a cut or a draw line, but you want to assign it specifically. If you're going to be cutting and drawing or cutting and doing a dash line, I would get into the habit of setting your lines separately. So, the black line, if I click on the black line and you'll see the blue bounding box is now around the black line, that I set to a cut line and a straight cut line. So that's just a straight cut with the blade. I'm going to choose the red line. This time I'm going to make it a cut line, but I'm going to come down here to the patterns and I'm going to make it a dash line. And then I'm just going to close the box and click away. Now. If I select this by dragging an imaginary box around it, and then I'm going to use the right click on my mouse and make that a group. Now, if I send that to the machine and put a piece of card on my mat, it will cut me this square and then it will cut all these little red dash lines into the card. So that's how you create a cut dash line. Now to do the same to make these dash lines draw, 
I'm just going to repeat the process. I could just right click and duplicate this whole thing and then alter the red lines. But as this is a beginner program, I'm just going to do it from the basic shapes again. So I'm going to drag a box over. I'm going to, with this box selected, I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to make sure it's a cut line and I'm going to leave it on black. With this box selected, I'm going to come to the edit box, come to the offset icon. I'm going to choose 0 0.08 again, inward and bevel and say OK. Now I'm going to just left click anywhere on the page to deselect and I'm going to left click in the middle of this smaller box we've just created. And this time with this box selected, Again, I'm going to change it to a different colour. I'll make this one blue and I'm going to cut, come down and I'm going to say draw line and then from the dash patterns, I'm going to choose the dash pattern again. Close the properties box and left click and click away. So you can see now this one will cut the square and then cut these little dash lines within it. This one the black line will cut because the properties box is telling it to cut with a straight line and the blue lines will draw and draw a dash line. So again, I'm going to select both of these, right click and make them a group. So you could save this project up here. I'll just go back to fit to map so that you can Just zoom in a bit more. So you can save your project up here. And then when you put two pieces of card on your mat and send this to, the, to your machine, the first one will cut and then cut your dash lines. The second one will cut if you tell it to cut first. And then it will stop and you take your blade out, insert your pen and it will draw your lines. Now it doesn't matter which way around you do this. You can tell it to draw first and it will draw the blue dash lines and then you can tell it to cut and it will cut the outer line. There's no right or wrong way, it's just whichever way you prefer. I usually prefer to draw my lines first and then cut my shape but to be perfectly honest it just depends how I'm feeling at the time I come to do the project and which way I choose first, either cut or draw. If you want to take it up a step and you want to use another shape, you can choose any of the shapes. So here I'll bring a scallop on from here. Again, with it selected, I'll go to the properties box. I'll make this just a cut line and a straight cut line so it will cut this scallop shape out of my card. With it selected, I'll go to the edit box. I'll choose the offset again. I'll choose inward and this time I'll make it 0 0.24. I'll say inward and this time I'll say rounded because I've got a rounded shape and I'll say OK. So now the inward shape has got curves. So I'm going to choose the inward shape, go back to the properties box. I'm going to change its colour just so it's easier to see on the screen. And I'm going to choose draw and I'm going to say I want a dash line and I'll use a different dash line. I'll use a slightly bigger one with a bigger gap and then I'll close the box. Again, I can select both, right click and make them a group. Or I'll just ungroup that. You can select both. You can come to edit and group here, doesn't matter which. So now if I sent this to the machine on a piece and put a piece of card on it, it would cut around this black line to give me the scallop shape, then it would stop and it would, I would put the pen in and I would say draw and it would draw the blue dash lines. So that is just a simple beginner tutorial on how to assign cut and dashed lines be it cut dash lines or drawn dash lines i hope you found that helpful please give the video a thumbs up if you did don't forget to like it and share it if you can do so and you can also follow me on instagram and patreon all the links are in the show more box directly under this video on youtube thank you